Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to tag someone on Instagram story. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to head to the top where you see the plus sign. You want to click on the plus sign and then you want to click story. Then you want to select what type of content you want to publish, like this one over here. And this is where the magic happens. You want to head to the top settings of the menu and you want to click on the letter icon with double a now to tag someone you got to click on the lower left side where it says mention you want to click on mention the add sign will pop out in our case we're going to use apple because we do have an iphone on the actual content this is where you actually tag the person you find the person or the company and it will pop out underneath there you have it you find apple then you will, you can actually move this left and right you can make it big or very 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 small and you can place it over here or over here right very nice tidy needy but also you can do you can tuck and and multiple people just simply go back to the double letter icon on the top and then you click again the mention and you can mention someone else for example you can do something like you know something like tech reviews or tech related channel or anything related to it this is how simple it is guys to find someone tag it on instagram story and simply create your story just look at my feed over here okay this is my feed my followers everything is windsurfing water sports you know activity if i go on the actual random fyp for you page everything as you can see is as usual sports 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 right and models of course let me show you something that you probably haven't seen let's go over here and let's look for sponsored post so this sponsored post over here is popping in between let's jump into the meta data of the post so they don't have any hashtags they do not have any hashtags they do not have any metadata description for a search engine optimization you might be thinking but you know they're running an ad you know nothing uh, you know should stop them to include hashtags well guess what even though they're running a special commercial if you go on their original account right and if you look at the regular post they don't get this attention 39 likes on the post that was published recently okay and they have a bunch of hashtags nothing is moving just four days ago compare this post with posts that doesn't have the actual hashtags how about this post over here same thing guys just look at this so four days ago they include like a 20 plus hashtags almost you know not even 40 likes and the post prior just has you know a little longer description with zero hashtags has 142 likes do you understand what kind of difference we're talking about everything is in relation with the recent update so the rumor has it on the street that the instagram update algorithm doesn't actually identify the best content that has a lot of or some hashtags some hashtags or a lot of hashtags are simply kind of uh, no, uh, recognized as a tool that automated services or bots are using so this is where the natural organic growth is coming into play and if you don't trust me, uh, well, let's let's scroll down and take a look, right? This is another post over here. A bunch of hashtags. Again, 40 likes. It's 40 likes uh, prison. There is a quote on, on, on TikTok, you know, people who are locked in 200 views. Every video is 200 views. 200 views prison. You see how many, <laughs> how many uh, hashtags they include? Well, if you look at this post over here, right, just a couple of days prior, 138 uh, likes zero hashtags so the moral lesson of the story over here guys is that if you really want to grow in 2024 if you want to make a difference this is your main objective you gotta learn how to utilize no hashtag posting with better description okay make your description better make your posting better and then everything will come into place for more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.
Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to grow your Instagram account using Reels. Very easy, very fast guys. Let's jump right into Instagram and let me show you things that you probably haven't seen, okay? The main scope over here is that you wanna go with the vibe. You don't wanna go against the vibe. Let's say for example I, I'm, I'm inspired to become a surfer like this guy over here, right? So I wanna become part of the community, first of all, indirectly right? I cannot meet these people. I cannot recreate this video, right? But I can be part of the community. So essentially, you want to scroll down to the comment section and you want to go over posts that have a lot of comments or a lot of engagement. So how are you going to do that? You want to click on the comments and here you can essentially start commenting similar comments as other people. But you want to add your own personal view, something that will challenge other person to reply to you. If you just say nice video, you know, no one will reply to you. You, not, you need to put a statement out there, right? Or you need to ask a question. Questions are actually always the safe way to approach someone or to essentially, you know, put your name or account on the table. Growing inside the comment section is the most unutilized function. A lot of people paying for ads, a lot of people reposting, putting, you know, 30 different hashtags include like 17 paragraphs inside the description and they're still not growing <laughs> simply because the algorithm has changed big time in my previous videos if you go through my channel you will see that a lot of these people who have a very very successful post they don't even include hashtags as a matter of fact if you look at this this is a sponsored post right so the goal of person who paid for the ad on instagram is to reach as many people as possible but guess what even they don't include any hashtags just look at over here there is no single hashtag sponsored post the same probably clothes or whatever or selling vibe uh, and look at it there's no single hashtag same thing over here you see over 1400 different people like saw this video 14 comments the description of the video yeah, they have to include some hashtags because there are different brands over here. I see there are brands and he actually tagged the brand. So probably he is into some partnership or something. But essentially, if we look at over here, right, we're looking for a fashion magazine. You see over here? So this is a cultural magazine, okay? They do not have any hashtags. Just look at this. 648 likes. Probably the page has indeed 300 over 300,000 followers so probably they, they know think or two about the the instagram growth more than me and you right so my suggestion over here guys is to utilize the comment section there's very very few people know about this just pick your niche are you into fashion are you into photography are you into e-commerce just go find the most you know viral or popular post find the posts that have a lot of comments right you don't want to go on posts that has a million views but you know had like five comments you want to go on posts that have like 50 60 100k reached right and you have like 500 comments that's like the best you can spend so much time commenting and guess what when you comment people are interested to see who they're talking to right no one just replies to no one right they're gonna reply they're gonna see who you are and they most likely gonna follow you and who knows where where the whole you know collaboration might end up this is how you grow organically on instagram for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and of course follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can download instagram reels videos for free very easy guys very simple just a couple of clicks let's launch the instagram app and find a video that we want to download for example, let's say we want to download, maybe not this video. Let's say we want to download this video over here, okay? Click on the three dots on the top right corner of the video. Then you want to click on the link button, which is situated on the upper right, the second button. We just copy the link on our clipboard. Now let's move to the easier step, which is number two. Go ahead on Google Chrome and look for this app over here. It's called Publer.io. You want to click on this. <clears throat> when you're at Publer.io, I want you to paste the link and click download. This is how simple it is. 
why this app is is preferable well as you can see over here no ads no watermarks no registration you have two options after you the video is downloaded over here you can either download it or you can simply post it i haven't used the post function you can simply download it and then go ahead and, and do whatever you'd like with the video okay this is how simple it is to download instagram reels for free for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more in this video guys i'm going to show you how you can download instagram reels for free very easy with just a couple of clicks okay let's launch the instagram app and let's try to find a reel that we want to download let's say we want to download this reel over here with the lady okay all we gotta do is to click on the three dots on the upper right on top of the video and then you want to click on the link button okay we just copy the link from this video on our clipboard the second step is even easier i want you to go on google chrome and find this website over here it's called publer.io okay when you click on the website all you gotta do is simply to paste the link that we just copied click download wait a couple of seconds and boom the video will appear over here the app has no ads no watermarks and no registration required all you gotta do is to click download and you have the video already in your account for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more in today's video i'm going to show you how to find out what is the best time to post on instagram First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner at your profile picture. Then guys, very important, when you're at your landing page on your account, you want to click on professional dashboard. Over here, you will find a lot of information that you could simply use when publishing, how publishing and what actually works and what doesn't on the platform. This is where you want to click first. You want to click on total followers. And then you want to scroll down to the actual activity. This is the hourly chart and daily chart of when you have the most active users and when is the best time to publish. For example, if you click on one of these blue bars, you will see the number of hours that are available per day. This simply will help you to know which day is the best to publish the most of your content. If we break this down into hourly chart, you will see that this is a time frame when you have majority of your followers active by every single day. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you easy and simple way that you can edit viral Instagram real videos, okay? You're gonna do it inside the Instagram, you're not gonna need any third party software or app. Very easy, very simple. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Now, guys, let's create a brand new post. Click on the lower center of the screen. Hit the plus sign. Now, let's try to slide on the side from post to reels. In this example over here, guys, I'm going to use this image over here and we're going to create reels out of it. Okay? So, the first thing I want you to pay very close attention is to the upper settings. So first of all, if you click on the first one, you will be able to download the actual Rio in this particular setting before you edit anything. The second one is essentially if you want to add the music, the music sounds are over here. You can essentially pick from what is currently trending and you can actually search by the title. So if I go back, there is a search bar on top. You can search for an artist or you can search for an actual uh, title of a song. You can include voiceovers. You can import music over here uh, from your device, right? So plenty of options over here, guys. The next thing is that if you want to you know, create a particular filter on top of it, you can simply utilize some of these that will change the way how your content looks like. Not to hype about it, this is usually for people who are, you know, more creative and they don't have like a straightforward content. The next option is if you want to include a particular sticker, in our case, you can include uh, functions like captions, you can include links, 
you can include some of this stuff or you can simply come over here and look for whatever you want to upload if there is like a birthday celebration or something you can always do it but remember everything has to align with the overall idea right if the guy who is driving the car is 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 having a birthday right you can put it over here or you can put it over here when you're finishing with the overall simple everything we want to click next then guys you want to create your metadata meaning you need to create a title which in our case will be simple uh ferrari monza test drive okay then you want to come down over here probably a lot of you wonder why i didn't use hashtags if you look at the most recent updates from the instagram algorithm the most viral uh, post didn't carry any hashtags and also pay attention to the promoted content on the platform even the promotion ads didn't have hashtags on their own post so pay very close attention the other people know something that you don't now i'm going to click on tag people in our case i'm going to add tag with the actual brand which is a ferrari right and then we're going to proceed to including uh, audience our audience is everyone simply because we want to generate more traffic uh, you can play with the topics you can select a topic for example it could be cars car enthusiasts sports it can be uh, you know transportation you know sports cars don't make it too niche down okay one two categories i think will work the best next you want to include the location we are in malibu in this particular picture right uh and i think that's basically all it guys hit next and proceed with publishing guys this is how simple it is to edit your reels inside the instagram app you don't need CapCut, you don't need any complicated software everything is right over here guys for more videos like this subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can find the current trending songs on instagram so you can use some of them you can sort through them and you can essentially plan your future content based on the songs that are currently trending let's launch the instagram app and let me show you where you're going to find all of them now our example over here first of all we are going to create a small draft post by simply clicking on the lower center of the screen we're going to pick a piece of content we want to upload in our example this is going to be then we're going to click next remember guys this is a draft post okay so we're going to scroll to the bottom of the page and we're going to click add music remember every time when you click add music you will have the first option over here which is everything that is currently popular everything that is currently trending all these songs are currently trending as you can see they're just 20 songs approximately okay versus if you scroll on the side you have the browse, browse function and here you have hundreds of thousands inside each of these folders that is broken down so this is your goal number one that you can come over here and simply find the current trending songs the second step you could also do essentially is to go back right come over here click on the magnifying glass on the lower left okay go on your original discovery page and here you can essentially scroll through the actual popping up right remember all this what is popping up is in some way in some sense related to your following uh, people related to your uh, audience to your content that you already subscribed to but if i click on on for example but if I click on, on something like this, for example, as you can look at over here, right? We can extract the sounds from the actual videos, from the actual reels. And remember, this is not guaranteed. Uh, I, I'm telling you that the more guaranteed function will essentially be simply go to the list that is sorted and filtered by Instagram because the information will be the same. Remember, the list of trending songs is built by Instagram simply by number of people who are using the same songs and number of views they're getting or the engagement they're getting using the song for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more 
Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can share Instagram Reels on your Facebook app. Very easy guys, very simple. Let's launch the Instagram and let's take a look and try to find a Reel that we want to share on our Facebook account. As I promised you guys, it will be very easy, just two clicks and you're done. So you want to scroll down and you want to look at the section that is under the actual video. Okay, you have the heart, you want to like it, you can comment it, and then you can click on the paper airplane. When you click on the paper airplane, you have this small menu underneath over here. You want to scroll down on the side until you find the option over here for Facebook. This is where you're going to click and you're going to share the Instagram Reels on Facebook. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more.